column chart, but it's also a horizontal chart. This group of charts is one of the most used chart types to visualize data in business reporting. But do you know why? What are all the other chart groups and where should you use them? Well, stick around and you'll find out. But first, let's take a step back. In IPCS, so International Business Communication Standards, we differentiate chart groups by the way that they show data. We know development over time charts, aka horizontal category X chart, structure, also called vertical charts, and two value axis charts. Today, we're going to take a closer look at horizontal category axis or time series charts. These are charts that have categories on the X axis of the chart, which is placed at the bottom of the chart. The horizontal axis is mostly used to display time periods. Think of stock price over time. Charts with horizontal category axis are frequently used in business communication to illustrate trends over time. But they are also very useful for comparison between groups or different categories. And as you probably already figured out, IPCS chart groups usually include many different chart types. The most frequent chart types in horizontal groups are column charts, line charts, and area charts. Column charts can be single column, stacked, or grouped. All of these charts put importance on visualizing how an absolute value changes in time or in different categories. You would use this chart type to show, let's say, a quarterly sales figure. Line charts are perfect for showing trends over time. In line chart, data values are represented by a series of points connected by straight lines. I completely screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> These kind of charts are usually used best for something that is continuous. Think of stock prices or maybe temperature. The third are area charts. Area charts are very similar to line charts, but are shaded to show the area beneath the lines. This shaded area can really help you highlight the magnitude of changes in the data values, especially over time. With these graphs, we would show things like growth of revenue, something to really instill feelings in a person, feelings of how it went up or maybe even how it went down. But very to the well. If you would like more info on different chart types, go into the comments below and just write more charts and we'll make more comments. Now let's go over the benefits of using horizontal charts again. So firstly, they make it easy to identify trends over time. They allow for easy comparison even between categories. And finally, they provide a clear and concise visual representation of data, making it easy to understand for any. So when creating effective horizontal charts, you have to keep in mind in the next few guidelines. First, use clear and concise labels that can accurately describe the categories that are being presented. Two, use a consistent scale on the horizontal category axis. This will avoid distorting the data and is probably the most important of these guidelines. Three, always try to choose a chart type that best represents the data being presented. So column charts, line charts, area charts, like we said before, are very common options for horizontal category axis charts. Four, Use colors and design elements to make your data easy understandable and even visually appealing. But five, avoid cluttering the chart with too much unnecessary design elements, data, anything that would distract from the main message. But you know what else can distract you from the main message? Well, not using Zebra VI. So this is why I have prepared two graphs for you. The first is a grouped column chart that is supposed to show how our sales is performing versus previous year. Looking at the chart, I can already see some improvements. The first and biggest no-no is that this is an inconsistent scale. This especially confuses the readers as it seems like we're underperforming in the later categories. Second is the use of grid lines for the y-axis. From afar, it's really hard to tell, are we doing better or worse than planned in Q1? Adding some data labels would make this a lot more clear. Third is the use of color.
could be that this is the company's corporate color, but it's not used in the way you want, plus the blues are really hard to tell apart. It also requires of me to look at the legend underneath the chart to really get all the information. Some good parts, however, are that it's using comparison and that it's not too cluttered. All in all, you could probably, with a little work, gain the information you want from this chart if you really had the motivation. The second is what a horizontal chart is supposed to look like. Made with Zebra BI, we can see it's using all the recommendations from IBCS. First thing, we see that the category labels are consistent, and this is what we need. There is no need for the grid lines as the chart has data labels above the columns, so we have less guesswork. The colors are only used for variants and highlights. Using the pretty universal rule of red is bad and green is good. It also focuses on the message. Where are we doing better or worse than last year, instead of just the two numbers? The addition of comments on specific data points also helps the reader understand the message better. This chart also includes a pin chart above the main chart, which is one of the most important visualizations in IBCS. Used for relative variances, we can quickly discern where our biggest problems are. And because of the importance for IBCS, we'll be taking a closer look at pin and waterfall charts in a separate video. Now, if I put the two together, I think it's easy to see which one really catches your attention. So what are you waiting for? Go down into the description below, click the link, and try Zephyr BI for free. We also have a really cool chart selector that will have a lot more information about different chart types. You should also check that out as well. All right, thank you for watching. If you learned something, like this video, share it with your coworker, and definitely subscribe to our channel if you want more information like this.